G'day guys, it's Joe here and today I thought we would do another reading your comments video because I haven't done one in a while and I thought before the year is over it must be done. So without further ado, where did I put there it is. So let's get into these comments. Now I've got exactly ten comments I'm gonna go through today because y'all need to write some more comments. I answer comments within 24 hours, if not 48 hours. I tend to answer comments that either haven't been asked repetitively or, you know, haven't been said repetitively pretty much. So this first one, number one, is by a good friend, uh, Dino2, XOX, or aka Dino. They asked, or well, they said, you are so pretty, thank you, two love hearts. I really wish I could show this to my family, they pretty much do all of these. I'm really quiet and hide a lot of things about myself from everyone. I feel you, brother. So this was on the what not to say to people who are depressed video. And you know what? I 100% agree. Thank you. Not to the pretty part, sorry. Um, but it took a long time for me to talk to my parents about what was going on with me. You know, about my mental health. And I hid that from them for ages. I refused to tell them about it until it was at my absolute worst. At the point where I was literally crying most nights and breaking down and I knew something was wrong when my own mother said to me that, you know, I'm so proud of you because you haven't had a breakdown this entire year, you haven't been stressed nothing this entire year, when she had no idea I was sitting outside like a day crying my eyes out just because my own thoughts were battling with me so that was really tough and slowly I told my mum she kind of was like alright let's we want you to be okay let's go take you to a therapist and I'm not gonna say I'm 100% better but I am a lot better than where I was in that retrospect but Dino you have a family here okay you can talk to us we're here for you as much as you will be here for all of your brothers and sisters we're all here for each other and that's what the sarcasm family is for so yeah and I agree with you I hide a lot of things about myself from everyone too up until this year I would never tell anyone how I was feeling I never told anyone anything because I always thought my brain was always right make other people happy put yourself second I'm learning that that's not true people are still gonna be upset and you can't fix it people are still going to you know you can't fix everything and even if you want something badly you're not gonna always get it so taking moments to appreciate yourself and love yourself and you know just tell someone what's going on can help and everything comes with a price whether you pay for that now or later thanks truck everything has a price whether you pay for it now or later but I do wanted to say that Definitely saying what's going on does help. Again, whether it's to your friends, to family, to random stranger online, hi, to even like websites like Kids Helpline, even if you just want someone to talk, there's probably a website where you can talk to someone. So I just thought I would kind of talk about that for a little bit. So thank you, Dino, for that. And my voice is like, woo! Sorry, I have not sat down. And done a video in like three weeks I've been away on vacation for two weeks and yeah I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things and it feels good next one is by Nessie Wolf FNAF they wrote I hate when people clearly see and know you're depressed and ask are you okay it's just like damn it you're part of the reason I just want to be left alone say snazzy I don't know and I agree not everything's gonna be okay again this is from the same video but like I said in the video, everything is not going to be okay all the time and you just have to accept that. You can't say, 
You can't say to someone, oh, everything's gonna be okay. That's, that's just lies. Not everything's gonna be okay. But when it is okay, you accept those moments and you love those moments. And I can agree with you, Nessie. I hate it when people see that you're really down and just out of it and they're like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And they ask you repetitively and you're just like, I, if I said I'm fine and I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to talk about it. It's, but it's tough because you got to find that fine line between asking people if they're okay to, and not pushing off the edge, but then also uh, you still want to ask them so they know that you're there for them but you also don't want to ask them too much because you don't want to push them over or make them freak out and retreat which is what I tend to do so that's fun but yes Nessie you can stay snazzy too don't worry don't you worry about that <laughs> next one is by Alpha Tori which is a good old friend of the channel they wrote great video, keep up with the great work. This was from the dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 video, which was my Halloween special video. I had a ton of fun coming up with that idea. It was, so to kind of explain what was happening, even though I sort of did in my explaining video, but what it was, it was just a quick like brief. It was I was kidnapped for the whole month of October and then I was kind of being released in a fad, you could see me and the hints were all throughout that it was someone had taken me or something had taken me and was holding me against my own will and it wasn't an outside person and it was someone I knew quite well and personal. And it was just kind of fun to edit, to film, to think of ideas for. I don't do a lot of creative stuff like that. So when I got that inspiration, I was like, I'm going to do this. This is a lot of fun. So I went with it. I rolled with it. And you guys seem to like it, I think. You guys seemed okay with it. I'm not sure. And none of you got what the meaning of the video, of the title was. Not yet. I'm interested to see if you guys will figure that out eventually, but yeah, I just wanted to put that in because that video actually did mean a lot to me because it was kind of, not the first time, but all these Halloween videos, I always put in a lot more work than I normally do on, my, on these videos because I don't, I personally don't like it when a video is heavily edited because it takes away from the realness of the video, so being... And because that video wasn't really real, if that makes sense, like it wasn't a sit down, really personal talk, I could kind of muck around with editing a bit and I've always loved to edit videos and stuff like that, so it was actually quite fun to do. This next one was by Nessie Wolf as well. They wrote, purple or silver looks the best. This was for the hair colour wax video I did. Again, I just wanted to try something new and cool and different. And that was something different and I'm glad you guys liked it and I agree the silver did I reckon the silver looked the best that was one of my personal favorites this one is by my good friend Kate she wrote it well she quoted me saying it could be whatever gender they wanted to be that was for the this or that puppy edition I believe it was and well, yeah in this day and age in 2018 you gotta say that anything can be any gender sex, religion, especially on the internet because the internet gets triggered very quickly. Just saying. Love you all, but you get a little triggered quickly sometimes. The next one is by Wing Cloud. They were, is your friend Irish? If I got this wrong, I'll be so embarrassed. You are wrong, but don't be embarrassed. She is from, so the friend they're talking about is Mary. We did some videos together recently. If you haven't seen them, go watch them. Go show her some love. Say that your girl Jara sent you, um, she's a really great friend of mine who I met because of YouTube and she is from Shetland which is in Scotland so not not to be rude to her or Scot Scottish people in general or Irish people but I do get their accents mixed up a little bit so it's perfectly fine, don't be embarrassed. This next one is by 
I I Imagination Dream. The name's right here. It says, I made fan art. I would really appreciate it if you check it out. I, it's posted on my channel. So you can see the fan art here. So this is the fan art. I love it. I think it's really good. And if you guys have any fan art, I don't, not to be rude, I don't like calling it fan art. I just like to call it art because it is art or sibling art. If you have any sibling art like this one, put it on YouTube, put it anywhere, tag me in it. I really want to see what you guys do and I just love it. And you can draw whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I just appreciate all of your work and I am so thankful that you you know, you guys do it. You guys put in a lot of time and effort and it needs to be appreciated. So thank you. This next one is by Cozert X, who wrote, um, you guys are so cute. This was on the relationship tag video that I did with my boyfriend and I'm glad you think we're cute. It was actually really interesting, a little bit of a story for that. Uh, he messaged me and he was, or I, he called me after school and I was like, hey, what's going on? And he was like, oh, I thought I would just tell you something really interesting. I was like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? He goes, so I walked into school today and all of my friends were standing in a circle, right? And I was like, yeah. And they look at me and they went, hey, you're really cute in this video. And he was like, wait, what? And it was the relationship tag. They were all watching the video, which was weird because he doesn't tell anyone I have a channel. They already knew my channel beforehand and they were all watching the video. And it was so weird because to me, I don't know, it's just weird. It was like, what? Like people, it sounds stupid, but people know my channel. Like, do you know what I mean? It was so surreal. And even before he said this to me before, like a while back, he, one of his guy friends went up to him and was like, hey, are you doing a YouTuber? And he was like, what? what? He was, I, I watched this YouTuber and you were in one of her videos are you dating her? And he was like, yeah, we just started dating. This was back when we just first started. And he was like, awesome, you're dating a YouTuber. And I was like, how does he know I'm a YouTuber? Like, this was just so weird to me. I don't know. It just, it made my heart flutter a little bit. I don't know why, but it was just really cool. This next one is also by DinoTruxox, who wrote on the depression video, which was, please know you are loved by many. Honestly, you inspire me so much. Please keep fighting and remember we love you. I have my own battles with depression, suicidal thoughts, and even a suicide attempt a few months ago. But trust me, it does get better. You will learn to love yourself again. You will learn to appreciate life again. We love you so much, and please, even though it's hard, stay strong. You can do this. Love, Dino. Dino, I love you too. Um, I am definitely in a lot better space than I was when I was, like I was a while ago. I really wanted to do a video on depression because mental health in general is not really talked about it is getting a lot more talked about on the internet and i'm really happy about that and i just wanted to talk about depression and it was all new for me in the sense of i'm not no new is not the right word it was just cool to be able to make a video like that because it was something new for me to make and having my friend's input on it as well because she also suffers with depression um, like me it was cool to get her thoughts and feelings on it and see if depression is different for everyone or if it is kind of similar and I would say it's differently similar by some things, it's kind of like this some things overlap but everyone has different effects and treatments and stuff like that but there are some similarities and you know what I do agree with you, I have learned I've always appreciated life no matter what. My life has been, I've appreciated, my life has been up and down. Learning to love myself, I'm still working on that. That's always been hard for me and if you want to know more about that, I guess I can talk about it in a different video, but it's always been hard for me to love myself. But just know Dino, we're here for you always and like we're here for all of our siblings. We look out for each other. The last comment of the video is by sleepless night who yelled in caps lock the editing is perfect this was i believe i can't remember what video it is and i'm so sorry i believe it's the depression video or it's the dot dot dash dash dot dot it's either one of those thank you i had a lot of fun editing those videos again it was my, my first time really getting into a video and like 
editing it and kind of getting the just having fun editing and trying different things out and I had a lot of fun so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it let me know in the comments below and just ask me any questions I want to do like a proper proper Q&A so guys leave me as many questions as you want in the comments section below because I want to get to answer all of your qu all of your questions um, yeah ask me any questions you know I like to be as honest as possible and if I'm not honest about something then try and get it out of me anyway dry out guys in the next video whoop sarcasm out don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye I love doing these they're so much fun I don't know why I just love talking to you guys yes.